APS just celebrated a huge makeover at Wilson Middle School, one of the district's older schools. Like a lot of schools built as Albuquerque started to take off in the 50s and 60s, it was showing its age. News 13's Jose Mitri shows you how APS is trying to give those schools new life. Ten and a half million dollars later, Three. Albuquerque celebrated the renovations at Wilson Middle School. It's an old building, like most of Albuquerque public school buildings. APS says 60% of its schools are at least 40 years old and in some stages of being rebuilt. We shall be dealing with this for the next 10 years. The biggest difference here? APS says it's improving technology, energy efficiency, classroom size, traffic issues, and drainage to prevent flood damage like this. I mean, if you're going to invest $50 million into the rebuild of a high school, for example, you better make sure that there's no flooding at that site. Coronado Elementary is one of APS's oldest schools. Coronado was, the, uh, was known as the fourth ward school when it was first built in 1894 in what was Newtown which is what is now downtown Albuquerque. When Coronado first became an Albuquerque public school almost 80 years ago, it only cost about $125,000. A rebuild in 2009 cost 11 and a half million. It has a computer lab, it has a cafeteria. These are things that weren't there in the 30s when the school was rebuilt. Kids actually went home to eat and came back. As seen at Sandia, Del Norte, and soon Rio Grande High School, APS is building up, not out, with multiple stories. All part of the effort to turn these old buildings into something the district's new students can use. Lizé Mitri, KRQE News 13. APS says work at Rio Grande High is expected to start in about a month. For more on future APS renovations, head to the KRQE app.